Okay, so I am Spencer. I'm Anna. And uh, this is Billy Modern. Mm -hmm. um, you guys have not seen us in eight years, maybe Possibly nine? Possibly nine. We bought our other house in 2013. 13. 13. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's been a minute. Uh, we're a little bit older. Uh, Different house. <laughs> maybe wiser, I don't know. Uh, um, and we're still doing uh, modern sort of builds. Uh, right now, though, is not the most modern thing. We're doing landscaping. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, we have a whole bunch of mulch like this. Uh, I will set it down carefully so I don't breathe it in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, our neighbor was getting a uh, tree taken down. And so we, we were just wondering, well, what were they doing with that mulch? Over right. There? So the arborist said he'd be happy to bring it over. And so he did. Uh, so we have 14 cubic yards was the first dump, which was full. I mean, that truck was like packed full. And then you got a second truck load. Yeah, second truck load. I don't. That one wasn't as full. I mean, but. that tree they took down. It looked. I. I mean, I couldn't see it from far away, but it either looked like a tulip poplar or possibly an oak tree, which it ended up being a white oak. But like, it was right. one of the big ones. So one of the big. The entire tree. They chipped the entire thing. They didn't save any logs from yeah. anything. It's the whole thing's been chipped. But we know where the. Uh, we knew the tree. We know where healthy. it came from. Yeah, right. where it came from. We knew that it was healthy and. It was just too close to our house. Yeah, we're not. So we're not getting a diseased uh, chips, which is right. Great. They were spreading around. So we have about three quarters of an acre. Uh, the challenge with this property was that it is on a slope. Yeah. And so even just it, you know it it doesn't look like something that would be strenuous but it is like i would oh. i would do like four or six wheelbarrow loads and uh, just of chips which aren't that Last heavy year. yeah you know compared to like something like stone but uh yeah i would just be exhausted and so uh it's really a slope it's so our new uh -oh. purchase 15, which is very points. very splurgy for us was the yard max yes so we bought the yard max yd 8105 which is the big one with tracks. It weighs almost 600 pounds on its own. But it can carry about 1,100. Yes, it can transport. And it's got a hydraulic dump. That's it really good. Yeah. It's really, really good. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, it does like to cut off on you when you hydraulic lift all the way up mm -hmm. and all the way down. The engine will try to cut off. Um, it has a Briggs engine for those that are really extra techie. I don't really know much past of that. Uh, that. It's it's a pull string start like a, like a lawnmower. Yeah. Uh, we actually for a long time were looking into an electric option, but it electric uh, electric carts just didn't have the weight capacity. They, and they couldn't and, go up hills. Yeah, and they could they would they they were all like a five percent incline. We are uh, in a modern cedar styled <laughs> house. If you know modern cedar style styled houses, they're typically in very mountainous areas that have lots of hills. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And ours is definitely one of those. Yeah, the type uh, of properties that the people in the 50s and 60s were like, we'll pass. Yeah. And then here comes the 70s and 80s, and they're like, we need to build something uh, in one of these areas. So here yeah. we are. Yeah, so we have been starting to put mulch around, and we're just going to continue to do that. Uh, so we wanted to show you a little bit of the uh, yard max being used, uh, show you a little bit about what it's like. Um, but so far, it has been really good. I mean, we've only done a few trips with it. And uh, it's it's really, really good. All right, let's get to it. All right. This is how far we've gotten with two days of spreading mulch. I don't even know how many cubic yards we've moved so far. Uh, it looks like maybe half. We're slowly doing it. All right, day three of uh, the most entertaining thing ever, mulch. That's right, day <laughs> three. Uh, yesterday it rained all day, uh, so that was a day off. Um, and this morning it was pretty cold and still really damp. So now we're getting going around two o'clock, yep. I think, yep. ish. Uh, we'll see. So we have maybe three hours of actually doing stuff. see how heavy these chips are now that they're like saturated. Yeah, so it may be really worse. That makes a big difference. I'm guessing uh -huh. it probably will. Though we also were able to get some more cardboard ready while we we're doing stuff. Oh, 
Important note. What? The cardboard. Okay, so we learned something important. Or I did. <laughs> Anna told me about it, and then oh, I, okay. I experienced it. Uh, it's very slippy. It's very slippery. It's like stepping on a banana peel. I mean, I have a banana sure peel is. right out of there. I, we, I we didn't put it down because we didn't want to hook up all our hoses because it's the middle of winter to, to wet the cardboard down. So it wasn't soggy. Uh, but yeah, right. it sure is like a banana peel. It, it was, was I mean, I, I just went right down. Uh, so you if you're ever yourself. doing this, careful around uh, the cardboard boxes you put down. Oh, well, it's probably because it was on a hill for us. Flat surface, maybe not so as that's dangerous. Yeah, that's pretty true. We are on a pretty steep hill. Yeah. All right. All right, so going back to work. Okay, so uh, where I'm starting to dig in the hill back there is uh, really, really moldy. Like you can visually see all the mold. Um, the KN95 that I was using, I just wasn't sure if that was going to cut it. Uh, so this is my normal go-to. This is a P100 mask. Uh, it just filters out everything. Um, easy to take on and off. A little bit easier to breathe through than most N95s in my opinion. It depends on which one you're wearing. Uh, but anyway, safest thing I have, so it's what I'm going to go with. Okay, so it's end of day three. Um, how's it been so far? Uh, it's been great. Uh, I think it would have been impossible to spread all this mulch uphill in our backyard without the yard max um, yes. with a wheelbarrow. I think it would have taken months. <laughs> you see, you know, like... I think it would have taken weeks, at least a couple weeks. Um, but we're well past where we would have been otherwise. Uh, the yard max, I mean, it's been great. It doesn't go faster than you necessarily walk, but it's definitely faster than I can push anything up a hill. And I think I just would have been exhausted pushing a wheelbarrow uphill. Yeah, whereas this has been relatively easy. Yeah. Uh, and, when, when, and when we had uh, used the wheelbarrow before uphill slightly in our front yard um, last year, uh, it was something where I would only fill the wheelbarrow about three quarters of the way full yeah. because it was just so heavy and that's as far as I could make it. Yeah. So uh, You go like steps. <laughs> And then you'd be done because it was so heavy. Uh, and this hill is steeper than that one in the front. Oh, by far. Uh, so this has been great. Uh, so I guess that's about it. Um, we're going to have to do a few more days of mulching. So we're going to have the riveting series of mulch continue. Uh, but thank you for watching. Uh, please be sure to like, subscribe. And if you can, leave a comment. Let us know what you think about our pro mulching skills. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Right. Bye. Bye.